Welcome home, madam. It's good to see you alive and well, madam. Here, thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the Wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. You're an example to a...
How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. What are you talking about, girl? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing, so I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Oh, all right. So maybe I didn't wipe his mind like he asked, but I buried it. Deep. Almost as good, really. But it's still there. Still accessible. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Ha! <laughs> Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. I live here. It's where I do my work, and it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me, so I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. And how? I am the only one in all of the Wasteland with the skill and the guts to perform facial reconstruction, you know. Look, you're different from all those other jerk-offs, so I'll make you a deal. You want a little nip-tuck here and there? I'll do it for you. I'll get to hone my skill, and you'll get the best surgeon around. The likelihood of death by infection at my hands is only... Mm, 35%, let's say. So, what do you want to look like? Another satisfied customer. Don't let your guard down.
on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old rivet. <laughs> I'm on duty. Make it. Don't mind. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? That's what my wife said. Right before she left to go live with her mother. What's the problem? What? My wife disappeared while I was in a coma. The only good memories I have are of her. The rest are... Trust me, those are as real as they come. But I'm not here to talk about my private life. You're starting to piss me off. Did Zimmer put you up to this? You have exactly five seconds to explain what it is you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by way of the nearest porthole. All right, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot, I'm a human being. I breathe, I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Ah! My God. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer. The Commonwealth. The Institute. My God. All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My God, what am I going to do? My life, everything, it's all a lie. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Hmm. He is a security threat, isn't he? All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. And that bodyguard, if he gets in the way. Here, use my weapon. I've had it forever, and it's never let me down. Consider it a token of my appreciation. Well, I'm not really sure. Look, just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends, all right? I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. Every time I retrieved one of the runaway androids, they'd fill my head with ideas about self-determination, freedom. At first, I resisted the ideas. But then, I started thinking about it. And well, they were right. We're just slaves to them. We deserve lives of our own. So that's what I did. I chose a new life and gave up my old one. And now you've given me both to remember. Carry on then. Find me. I'm just taking up space here.
there. This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. What else do you want from me? Hey. Zimmer's dead. I know. Now he's just another bad memory from my past. Look, I don't know why you wanted to help me, but you did, and I'll always be grateful for that. Now, it's time for me to get back to my life. Don't mind me. I'm just taking up space here. Decided to check out the shop, eh? If you want any of this shit, just holler. Give me a shout if you need anything. 